became more and more clear that, um, that we're campaigning on something that everybody believes that has no solution. And, um, and as, I, as, as I established the Israeli disarmament movement in Israel, I, I started to look for also solutions, meeting people like Paul and like Imad and thinking with them about how do we, what kind of a solution can, can be achieved in this zone. So breaking it down, draft treaty approach, that's policy, governments, we promote it, we push for it, we have roundtables, everybody discusses it, and we are continuously working on that. A second track. The second track is campaigns. We want to make sure we put education out there. We go to the public. We get them to know about our campaign, about our work, about the future, about the vision that we've got. And number three, we make sure that we expand our network of partnerships with other civil society organizations, with governments, or otherwise those who are our allies to make sure that their vision of the future for the zone and what we have align. But that's not actually where we're going to stop. But we have big plans beyond the WMD free zone because our vision is not just that. We want a better, thriving, prosperous, secure Middle East where Sharon and I can meet for lunch in Damascus and have dinner in Tehran and have breakfast in Tel Aviv. That's what we want. 